Have you ever woke up completely drenched? I mean, no blanket on, your house is cool on 72 degrees and you are soaking wet? Well, today I'm gonna talk a little bit about my experience, life after transplant, night sweats. So if you guys know anyone that can benefit from these types of videos, please go ahead and share it with them. And if you're new to my channel, what's up? Take a moment and hit subscribe to be notified when I post every Sunday and Wednesday. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. So there were many nights right after I got my kidney transplant, I would wake up completely drenched. My night clothes were wet, my bed was wet. I mean, damn, I even thought I might have pissed myself. But no, you guys, there's something called night sweats. A few people that I know personally who have gotten kidney transplant has also experienced this. If you've had a kidney transplant in the past, comment below and let us know, is night sweats common for you? Because it was bad, guys. I mean, constantly. I even lowered my air down. I mean, I went as low as 72. I know some people may say it's too cold, but I need to have that on constantly. Even the fan, I'm like, wow, am I going into menopause? What the hell is going on with me? So upon research, my doctor said that it could be the cause of the medications that I was taking. At that particular time, I was taking Prograf. And a lot of you guys know when I was on Prograf, I had massive hair loss as well. Um, so this could be something, and also I am on prednisone and we all know that prednisone comes with its share of side effects so i just wanted to let a lot of people who have been asking me you know do you experience night sweats yes I do, and I think it's common within the community. Um, so this is why I wanted to do this video so other people can chime in and let us know your experiences. I even actually had my doctor run a full panel of blood work because I just couldn't believe that I, I'm little and I had that much sweat every single night. So we ran the, you know, the labs and we went and we saw that nothing was like out of the ordinary. You know, everything was pretty much leveled out and so it had to be my medications. That's the only thing I can say. And I reason why I'm even, I strongly agree that it might be the meds is because I no longer take Prograf. Thank you. And those night sweats have gone away. Right, And it has been over a year since I got my kidney transplant and I have not experienced that. Yes, from time to time I get those heat, but that's usually because it's about to be that time of the month or something, but no longer am I experiencing any night sweats. So it has to be the medication. I really truly did. And what I used to do is not only put my fan in, low down my air, but maybe get a tall glass of water, drink that. But then that makes me feel like I need to use the bathroom in the middle of the night and disrupt my sleep. So thank God I am off of the medication so I no longer have to experience that anymore. Otherwise, I don't know the other reasons of it. Maybe my body was just getting adjusted to the new kidney. When you, this is a foreign object. It is not my organ. Yes, it's my brother. We have the same DNA, but it's not my original, you know, kidney. So my kidney may have just been getting adjusted to being in, I said my kidney, right? It is mine now because he gave it to me. But his kidney was just getting adjusted in my body. And I think that caused the you know, fluctuation on top of the foreign medications that my body is not used to. But now that everything has evened out, it's been over a year, um, the kidney is doing amazing. For those of you that are wondering, I'm not having any complications and we are just gonna continue to pray for that. Um, but everything is kind of calmed down now, guys. So if you are experiencing night sweats, um, I'm sorry to say, but it just might be part of the adjustment. Period. Now, if you are still experiencing night sweats years later, maybe there's other medical things going on. And if that's the case, I would suggest reaching out to your doctors, maybe getting some blood work just to make sure that, you know, diabetes, high blood pressure. And I know some people who are taking some of those medications may experience that as well, but I'm not on any of that, right? So right now I'm just on, you know, the prednisone and the Celsep. That's it. That's all that I'm on currently. And I'm doing really, really well with that. So chime in guys, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to also follow me on Instagram. 
um, because that's where I interact with you guys and no one, and I mean no one, can say that I do not answer back. All right, guys, I love and I appreciate you. If you have any other videos that you guys want me to do, drop them in the DM as well. I mean, drop them in the comments as well too. This is not Instagram, this is YouTube. All right, guys, I love and I appreciate you guys. See you guys next time.